Okay, so what's important to notice here is the phraseology. Okay, and we've got, Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. As I've stated, that's the four cardinal points of the compass. Now that's going to line up directly with that fractal diagram that I'm showing you with those four variables or those four avenues for change. All of this is going to interconnect back in to the four winds of which the 12 tribes were scattered abroad by these four winds. And I'm going to show you this in all the scripture that connects it in relation to what I've been sharing with you so far. So in order to do that, we need to understand that Satan is covering the globe with this deception from walking up and down it and to and fro. Now remember the phraseology of the to and fro. Now, why am I saying that Satan is covering this globe with this deception? Well, it's very simple. If we go to Ezekiel chapter 28, we're going to get heavy description of Satan as it's recorded in the Bible in the Garden of Eden event, just like I'm telling you with this fractal equation and how all of this has begun. Now, I've already explained this in heavy detail in my other videos. What I want you to notice is the very important detail of his description. And it says, O covering, now we're talking about Satan here, and it says, O covering cherub from the midst of the stones of fire. Now we just connected this verse in Job where it's talking about the earth. And it even says the earth from walking up and down to and fro. Now the earth is a planet that orbits a stone of fire. Okay, did you hear that? A stone of fire is a planetary sun system. It's a it's a solar system. Solar is the sun. And that's what this being's job was. And if you'll even see here, if you'll look, it says in chapter 15, from this point in the garden, thou was perfect in thy ways from the day that thou was created. So you understand now that how the devil became a planetary prince of this world. Because to be a fallen prince, he must have been a prince first. Okay, before he had fell. And this is telling you that they were perfect until this iniquity, iniquity was found in them. So... These stones of fire are other planetary systems of which these beings were administering to, helping to run the spiritual affairs of the system. And of course they rebelled. Well, other planets have rebelled also, my friends. And I'm not trying to pull any punches here. The time is short. There are other worlds out there that are inhabited. But these other worlds have nothing to do with these false supposed alien beings that are to visit us. No, these beings come directly from this world as terrestrial spirits bound to this plane. There is a reason for that that I'm not going into now, but you could find the information for yourself if you look deep back in some of my older work. So what I want you to see is that we've got this covering cherub in relation to these stones of fire, these planetary systems. And that's exactly what Satan is saying when he comes to the Lord, as the narrative describes it, as he's having this meeting with these other sons, okay, these other administers to the planetary realms. And Satan comes also. And he describes what he's been doing on this one particular planet name earth that he is covered going up and down to and fro and he has covered it with deception well this is description of the bible narrative saying that they are going to destroy him god is going to destroy him from the midst of these stones of fire well all of these other planetary systems now that is a major confirmation in a lot of ways if you've been following my work and I hope that you do look back some of some of my other videos to see. I'll be back.